Hi, Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. Well, we have gold leading the way both in the one week period and the one year period, uh, continuing an upward trend from last week. All the details are in the write up. But uh, inflation continues to be the name of the game as we go forward this week. I just did a piece explaining the fallacy of rising interest rates being bad for gold. Uh, Whenever we've had inflationary periods or stagflationary periods in our nation's history and interest rates were rising, sometimes very significantly, sometimes uh, you know, they would double or triple the interest rates, sometimes much more than that. But in each case, we see that gold has risen during the same period of time that rates were rising. And uh, anywhere from 24 to 550%. And I'll put a link to that article uh, in this write-up for today's uh, article with this video. But uh, that'll give you more information, a little more detail about how that's worked in the past. And I believe it's where we're facing, uh, what we're facing today. Now, keep in mind that it's not the interest rates that gold tracks higher. It's the inflation rate. So there's hesitancy uh, from the Federal Reserve to raise rates right now due to the debt levels and due to the effects on the stock market, they're going to have to do some of that. But uh, uh, regardless of their inability to raise rates as much as they should or that they would have historically, the inflation is still here. And the uncertainty from the Federal Reserve only leads to greater uncertainty and a greater likelihood of continuing high inflation Uh, in the marketplace, and that tends to bode well for gold. Now, thankfully, it it appears anyway, for the time being, that the war drums are getting softer uh, from uh, the strife in uh, Ukraine and and Russia, and that's a good thing. Anytime we can avoid war, I believe that's a a great day. Uh, You know, there's always something good to fight for, but Uh, I think it's great if we can uh, settle our conflicts some other way without resorting to war. Nevertheless, uh, inflation continues to be a raging story. And another thing that we see going on in the political landscape in Central and South America is it's beginning to be more difficult for mines and mining operations. And uh, as you may recall, silver Very little silver is mined from silver mines. There aren't that many mines dedicated to solely mining silver. Most silver is mined as a byproduct from other metals mines, such as copper uh, or gold mines. There will be some residual silver, and that's where we get most of the silver that's mined. And that is going to be impacted negatively the supply of the metal uh, going forward. Over the next two to three years, we may see this develop, and that's feeding into an environment that already is showing record demand for silver. And so I believe that will impact prices in a positive way going forward for all those that own precious metals. So uh, things seem to be stacked in our favor for the years ahead. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Encourage you to subscribe and click that little button. It helps us out and lets us know that uh, these are helpful to you, and we hope they are. And so we hope to see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.